Well, good morning. This is a bit of an odd one. I'm uh, sitting here just about to do my yoga. It's uh, early morning, so just relatively got out of bed. Got my warm water here. I've got my uh, candle burning. I'm ready to do my yoga. It's all kind of my morning start of my day. But I was, as I was sitting here contemplating what does my day have ahead of me, I thought, hmm, there, there are a couple of things that have been running around my head this morning as I've been sort of lying in bed and thinking about getting up and then just uh, getting moving and I thought I would share my my thoughts um, with you it's um it's an interesting one I got a a new client yesterday um, this was a referral most of my uh, healing and coaching clients are referrals in fact I would say I would say pretty much all of them are referrals, either people that know me or people that know me that have um, referred people onto me or clients that I've had that have referred onto me. And that's, I've always considered that to be great business and it suits me. Um, I do other work as well, so this is sort of, uh, I'm going to say part-time, um, I would love it to be full-time. Uh, there's nothing for me nicer than, than working with people um, and, and seeing their, their growth and development and change and how things um, how things improve in their lives and that that for me is really fab so this morning while I was sitting here thinking about my new client um, a couple of things went through my head um, I, I the first thing I need to do this morning is um, send the client uh, let's call her Amy, for instance. Uh, just not her name, but I'll just call her Amy. I need to send Amy um, all the forms and documentation and questionnaire that I need her to fill in before I see her and just um, make sure that this all happens. It has to happen first thing this morning. I'm seeing her tomorrow morning. Um, I do all my work. No, not all my work. I do a lot of my work remotely, which is why I'm fortunate enough to... Uh, um, you know, hide, I say hide behind, um, hide behind a camera. Sometimes a camera is harsher. Uh, when you're when you're with clients, you can sometimes get away with just being who you are. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so I'm seeing her tomorrow morning. Um, we spoke yesterday, and I needed this morning. She could do this morning or tomorrow morning. Um, I needed today to get all the paperwork ready for her because I was I was working on another site yesterday, so that wasn't easy for me to to send her all the things that she needed but where I'm going with this is um, I've got to do that this morning and I was sort of sitting contemplating um, it might have been easier for all of us if I had um, referred her to links to well-being which is the new booking platform that I'm registered on um, and I'll be honest and say that I haven't had any of my clients go through there yet um, because I've mostly they've come as referrals and I've spoken to them but I was looking at the process now this morning I know that because um, I've read all about the links to wellbeing site and how it works and I know that it um, is designed to make my life as a practitioner easier um, and and I, I kind of hear all the things that go through my head about yeah well I just spoke to the client and we've arranged a time and now I'll send her the things I've got her email address and and we'll all contact and it'll all be fine um, and then I was reflecting on what would the process be both for me and what would the client experience be for Amy had she gone through links to well-being. And that was interesting. Uh, enough, Interesting enough to make me stop doing my yoga and go, actually I need to capture this because this is probably relevant and useful to others and um, something worth thinking about. So, um, the the situation is, Amy was referred to me, um, she phoned me on, today's Thursday, she phoned me on Tuesday, Tuesday morning, well Tuesday would be up, late morning, um, left a message on my mobile phone and I phoned her back yesterday um, about 1.30 about lunchtime when I was sort of picking up my messages. I knew I had six six messages in there. Um, on Tuesday I was on a client site doing um, running a workshop and so I didn't pick up 
any messages on Tuesday afternoon. Um, Tuesday evening, I was, it's fair to say I was pretty exhausted. Running workshops is exhausting. So I didn't pick up any messages then. Um, Wednesday morning, um, again, I was uh, on another client site doing, doing some work. And at lunchtime, I just thought I should pick up my messages. And that's when I picked up Amy's message, amongst others. But Amy's a potential new client had been referred, so this is why Amy's relevant to my thoughts now. Um, and it was fine. I called her back. Uh, she was available. We had a chat. Um, we had a quick intro about what I do, um, what her, her yeah, problem was that she was um, wanting to come and see me about, um, how long I thought it would take, expectations, um, just general information about how I work, etc. And then we looked at um, when could we meet, and it was, um, she works uh, odd hours, so she's available in the mornings, which I am available this week on Thursday and Friday. In fact, most weeks on Thursday and Friday, definitely, and occasionally other times. So it was a case of, okay, Thursday or Friday, um, and actually because of the prep I needed to do, I had to say Friday. And we arranged a time on Friday. But even that on its own, if I look at it from the client experience, I had to, um, I run three, I run three diaries. Um, I run a lot of diaries actually, but I run them all through one. But because I hadn't um, checked in with those other ones um, for effectively a day and a half, I wasn't 100% certain that my joint, my one calendar that captures everything, had everything in it that needed to have. So that was an interesting exercise. I then had to say to her, yeah, I think that looks fine. I think Friday looks fine. Um, let me just check my other calendar. Oh, and the other one as well. And then I'll come, you know, I'll come back. So she's sort of holding on and we're talking a bit, but she's holding on while I do this process. Yep, no, Friday, uh, I think it was 10 o'clock, was fine. Um, great. Right, what else is needed? Uh, am I phoning her or is she phoning me? How does it work? What's happening? We got through all of those bits. Um, and then I said I would. I got her email address and I would send her um, the forms that I needed her to do beforehand. That's my standard process. Great. So we ended the call and I then put the meeting in my main diary and um, sent her the meeting invite because that's how that one works. I then had to put that meeting in my other two diaries so that I remembered that it that time was booked out. And that was yesterday, fine. Came home last night, I was going to send her the forms. I said to her, I'd send them last night or early this morning. Came home last night, I was quite tired, it's been a long week already. Didn't do the forms, it's top of the list for this morning. Need to get them out to her this morning. So she's got time to go through them and send them back to me so I can prep for tomorrow. That's, that's fine. So that worked, and that's my standard way of working, collaborative, let's talk together, everything else. Um, but if I had done it through Links to Wellbeing, and this is this is where it's been very interesting, I do need to change my ways of working, um, and that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. Um, if I had done it through Links to Wellbeing, what would have happened was I have pre-booked slots, um, when I'm available at different sites or different locations for on-site, I can be, I can um, do on-site, what do you call it, online um, consultations, uh, sessions. Um, so I can do online sessions from any location, really. So if I've got um, a morning that I know I'm working in certain rooms doing uh, coaching, if I'm working on a, a site doing coaching, and I've got a free session available, I could um, make that available for an online session if no one else has booked it um, as a site session. Um, I also know that on for the next few weeks I can't do um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday during the day. I can do um, mon I can do every second Monday evening and I can do every Tuesday evening depending on how tired I am. But I could make one slot available. Um, I can do most Thursdays, except that I know that the last Thursday of the month I'm I'm busy. I'm in London, so I can't do that. Well, maybe I could do remote. I could actually do online ones in London on a couple of the times. So anyway, on links to wellbeing, I can actually set that up. I can set my calendar to do exactly that, and 
that would have meant that if I had referred Amy to Links to Wellbeing um, straight off, or if she had found me through Links to Wellbeing, which is ultimately what the game is, that um, that becomes my marketing platform uh, because they do the promotions and they, um, we, you know, they'll be driving people to find me as a, as a customer, which is great. Amy would have gone on to Links to Wellbeing, found, searched me, found me, read up all about me, who I am, what I do, which would have been great. Um, worked, uh, read what my treatments are and what my main focus is, which um, is all clearly articulated there. So I deal with um, lifestyle and particularly trauma releasing and um, moving forward. Um, so she would have read about all those different things. She would have um, worked out if she wanted coaching or, or uh, STT or another healing um, or a mixture of all of those. If she had some concerns, she could have messaged me directly through the platform, which would have sent me an alert to say that there was a message. Um, and she could have done the messaging, or she could have just said, yep, that's what I want, and booked an available session, because I would have had the slots available. She could have booked it and paid immediately. And all of that would have been done. So she would have done that on Wednesday, and known when she had her session and I know when those sessions are that I've set that are available so I wouldn't have to go looking at my diary because they'd be booked out already. Um, payment would have been made because now I need to, when I send her the forms, I need to send her payment details and get money from her before we do the session because that's how I like to work. Um, and I was contemplating going, um, do I offer Amy... Um, I know she's going to need a minimum of six sessions. Um, I think we'll probably work together for six months. I think it'll be intense for the first, probably for the first four to six weeks. We'll probably do one session a week. Then it might go to once every two weeks, maybe even once a month. But I know that it's going to be a fairly, um, I say long term, but I think she's going to need support for a while um, for her problem that she's wanting to deal with. Um, and so... Ordinarily, I would package that and say, okay, so let's book in, or let's uh, pay for 12 sessions and we'll, we'll use them as we need them and move them around, or six sessions or whatever. But actually, on Links to Wellbeing, what would have happened was we would have done our session and I would have said to her at the end of that session, um, okay, I think you need another session in a week, in 10 days, in a month or two weeks, whatever. And she would have gone away, booked it, and paid for it then, and been in control of what she was doing. But also, it would already be sorted. Um, very much the same as if you go to a physio or a chiropractor or whatever, or even a, even a dentist, to be honest. Maybe we don't want to think about dentists, but even a dentist. You book your appointment you ordinarily you phone up with them they've got a receptionist they book it straight away um when you've had your treatment you pay as you're walking out uh, but it's a different person to the person who's giving the treatment and that's that's an interesting one because when you're in a healing space um yeah when you're in a healing space uh, a financial transaction um doesn't always feel great it kind of breaks the energy i find it breaks the energy and when you're going to um a physio or a chiro or somebody who's uh, operating rooms and there's a separate person taking the money, you have a relationship with your therapist, healer, whatever, and you have a relationship with the receptionist who takes the money. And they're different relationships and they're both fine and they're both good. But in this case, I'm one person and I do all of that. Um, and that was like, oh yeah, okay. So going back to if Amy, if I'd referred Amy through to links to well-being, she would have um, read about me, found a, a, a session that suited her, booked it, paid immediately. I would have had notification. On that notification, I would have emailed her the forms through the platform, you know, through the system. I would have emailed her the forms. She would have received them through the system, completed them, and sent them back through the system. That meant that could all have been done for her on on. Wednesday, um, Thursday at worst if she'd chosen to wait a bit. 
It now means also that um, when we've had our session, and we to see how that session went, I'm able to say at the end of the session, great, let's see you in 10 days. She can go on book it and it's all sorted. She's in control of her time um, of when it suits her to see me and I'm in control of my time that I'm available to see clients to do different things and I think that's what's really important because I had Thursday, uh, sorry Friday, tomorrow booked out, first of all I had Thursday booked out to do some other things um, and it's fine, the first thing I'm going to do that I've pushed in now is to get Amy the forms and to get her everything ready for tomorrow. Tonight I will need to go through the forms and have a look at what I'm prepping and um, now tomorrow, it's I'm happy, I'm very happy that I've got the session with Amy at uh, 10 o'clock, that's perfect. But I, as of Wednesday, I didn't know I had a session um, booked for 10, where it's actually be quite nice to have, to know that on maybe Friday mornings, I, I make myself available for various online treatments, um, whether they're coaching sessions or whatever. I, I have regular slot on... Thursdays now, I've, I've kind of got that into a routine where I'm always available on Thursdays um, between 11 and uh, ordinarily about 2.30 and interestingly enough they're booking up but I've, I've mentally, consciously made that decision that that's when I'm available and it's interesting how many clients have come to me and that's suited and it suits me because I know what I'm doing then but actually if I've structured my whole week like that both mornings, evenings and afternoons, the times I was available, I would actually be in more control of my calendar, my life, knowing when I'm walking the dog, because actually I'm trying to get, trying to do my yoga this morning, then I've got to walk the dog, um, and I was actually debating yesterday, should I walk the dog before I did this, or should I get these forms out, or where does that fit in? Too much detail again, never mind, anyway. Um, yeah, so it, it would have, it would have made my life easier um, in fact, I know it is going to make my life easier. And I'm going to go after I've done my yoga. And um, I did book in some time to update my profile on links to well-being and my availability. Um, because I had done it uh, in the beta phase. I had done it uh, a little while ago. And um, my things have changed. And it's actually, I'm not available on the times that I've got visible on links to well-being. If somebody booked it, I would have to juggle my life around to fit it in because it is still showing there as live and available. So there is um, an insight really to the thoughts that were kicking around in my head and hopefully they haven't been too rambling but there, there are two things that just in a summary and a quick summary of that. Um, my hand's getting sore and I've got to get on with my yoga. Um, so the the insights are for me to have had a more structured day and know exactly what was happening would have been really helpful um, uh, going forward I know it's going to be really helpful just to to fit things in particularly as um, yeah life is busy and it's great and I love being able to help my clients and I love I love it when new clients come it's always um, they always come at the right time and they always come with some interesting things to see and you know often it's a mirror often it's um showing you something but i love it i just love being able to help people and that's that's my game is to help people feel better about themselves and um get the most out of their lives their days and i was talking to somebody yesterday um i was doing a walk and talk session and um that was my my motto on life is if I can help one person every single day and they go home and the people that they interact with both at home and at work um, their interactions will be hopefully more positive and that means that 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 I say goodwill goodness has has spread from the person that I helped they will hopefully pass it on to people around them the environment that they're engaging in um, with at home, hopefully, um, or even at work, um, is is better, and all those family members or colleagues uh, will go home to their places and or their people that they come into contact with, and they will have a better interaction, and it's a ripple effect. 
I think we all know about the ripple effect, but that's what I aim to do every single day. And, um, yeah, Amy left the call yesterday feeling good, uh, which was great. And I hope when she went to work, she was feeling better about it. And I'm hoping that after session tomorrow, um, we start the journey of her really making a difference in her life that will impact um, the people around her. Well, her, her first, and the, then the people that she comes into contact with, her partner and... Um, family and things and um, the people she works with so from my point of view that would have been much better from Amy's point of view it would have been it would have been far easier she would have found me read about me um, found a, a suitable time slot booked it in if there wasn't a time slot available she could have messaged me to say I can only do these times you're not available are, are we able to make an arrangement I could have gone back through the messaging system, said, yep, we could have had it in, booked, paid. Um, that's that's really useful because it takes that out the way for everything. I mean, one of the questions she asked me, obviously, was how much can it cost me? And I had to go, oh, it depends what the session is. Whereas on Links to Wellbeing, I have to find what my costs are, I have to find what the sessions are, I have to find how long they are. It's all, um, it's all sorted, I want to say sorted, um, which makes it really clean and clear for the client also makes it easier for me um, but of course you can you can flex things you know if you want to um, anyway let's go back to what it was like for Amy so she would have had all of those it would have been sorted she would have known where she was and it would have been done and dusted and she would have been messaging me through the system um, it, it just going back to so how does this compare with when I was um, trying to pull together packages um, and I, I generally work with packages. So packages of a single treatment, a single type of treatment, are fairly easy. Um, let's do six months, let's do six sessions, let's do whatever, and it's this is the rate, and I give a discount on the rate, and I've got my structure that I work on. But what hap I do lots of different things. What happens if I'm wanting to do a different session um, of treatments so one of the sessions one of the treatments might be um, may or may not be depending on the time available more expensive um, because of the outcomes might need more pre-work so expensive is my cost is not based and this was another discussion I was having with another friend a while back a couple of last week it was just last week my costs are not just based on the time that I spend with the client. My costs for a treatment are based on um, A, my experience and the benefit that it's going to bring, B, the time I spend with the client delivering that treatment, because some are 20 minute sessions, some are 45 minute sessions, some are 90 minute sessions. But C, on the pre work, and this was the discussion I was having with um, somebody I was coaching, the pre work that's needed. Um, for each of these sessions. So often we forget that, uh, and we don't charge for the, our time to do either the prep before the session or the investigations and whatever else happens after a session. And that's got to be, um, it's definitely a value add and it's a value add for the client and it takes our time. And there is, um, there needs to be a value exchange. Uh, you need to value um your own time so as a as a therapist we need to value our time and how we use it but the client also needs to recognize and they do recognize the value and feel that they've got value for what they did okay a little bit rambling um so hopefully that uh that gave you a bit of a nutshell of where my ramblings were this morning yeah early morning thinking um and I will do my yoga now. I will then go and get Amy her her forms and get things sorted for her. And then I'll get on with my day, in particular updating my Links to Wellbeing profile and, um, and just pushing out that link there to people. Because, of course, once, if Amy had done it through there, um, once she had uh, completed the treatment, Links to Wellbeing would have asked her, um, straight off to do a uh, how was the experience and so she could rate both me as a um, for the, giving the session but also the treatment so if she was doing um, different types of treatments she would be rating those treatments as well as rating 
me on a star rating and leaving comments. And I know we do go back to our clients and ask them for reviews, but it's another engagement where we have to go back and say, you know, please give me a review. Where's links to wellbeing, automates all that, gives us the reviews, puts it all in there. And um, I'm going to say a little bit like Amazon, but a little bit like um, any of these systems now where TripAdvisor or whatever, you have your star ratings and um, reviews, and that's also helpful. And as it's a fairly new system, um, those people that get in earlier, so I need to get on there before it gets too busy, um, will obviously build up their ratings sooner. So that's all good. So there you go. Um, not, I thought this was going to be a little quick session. I've just uh, taken nearly half an hour of my day. But I think it might be useful. It's been useful for me just to reflect actually on the process, my process as a um, therapist, provider, and um, the experience that my client had, a new client had, and how that could be different, how that could be better. So from me to you, I uh, wish you a fabulous day. Um, I hope it's it's uh, productive, um, uh, engaging, fun. It's got to be fun. Please make it a fun day and, and worthwhile and that your value is recognized and um, you receive uh, all the benefits, um, financial and other, um, that you, you deserve. The, the prosperity is there. Um, have a fabulous day and um, I'll connect with you later. I'm going to share this video and see what other thoughts are. Um, right. Thanks for now. Have a bad, fab day. Bye.